Hello guys, so today I'm just going to show you one of the many programs that I think could be useful to those hobbyists out there. Um, one of them being the LTM Circuit Maker. It's actually a free application that's used to develop your circuits, etc. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you straight across to the desktop and show you the software and you guys can draw your own conclusions. Right, so we've got our LTM Circuit Maker. Just let that open up. Um, it, do, it does tend to take a while sometimes to open up, but once it's up and running, it does run quite nicely. Um, you don't need a fantastically powerful computer to run it or anything like that. Um, pretty much most important thing with uh, this sort of software is the amount of memory that you have. So if you've got enough memory in place, no problems at all. So let's go and check it out. Right, the first thing we're going to do is I am going to log in. Uh, fortunately, you guys cannot see my password. Right, once you're logged in, you can view projects you're working on or you can view other people's projects. So I'm going to go along to one of the flexi powers, for example, or even better yet, let's go to the um, Avion Edition. Uh, this is actually somebody else's project they started and I've been working on it. Um, this software is very cloud based so what happens is anything you work on sits up in the cloud. Um, the beauty of the software, let's take a look here. Let's open the PC board up and um, it sometimes takes a few seconds to get going. Uh, that could also be because I'm busy screencasting at the moment, which uh, does tend to eat a bit of resources at the same time. Um, let's see, we're in two and a half minutes nearly. Right, so here you have the project in question. Let's just get in closer. I've got it already in a 3D view. So if we hit shift and right mouse button, we can rotate it around, which is brilliant. And you can actually 3D view your design or whatever you're working on. As you can see, it's quite feature rich and um, quite nice. And of course, you can open up the various schematics on your project or whatever the case may be. The beauty of the software is being maker based. Uh, a lot of it is sort of uh, open source hardware which means you can jump in there and you can actually develop and do whatever you want to do basically. Um, if you want to change the value of something by all means you can go for it. You can adapt and change anything uh, that you really want. Uh, there's no problem at all with it. Uh, we can head over here to the inductor for example and as you can see, this is a 1 megahertz ferrite, 1.3 amp, 80 milliohm, DCR, 1AA8, and it tells you all about the coil in question. Um, it'll even tell you manufacturer part number, which is great. So now you know exactly who to get it from, or whatever the case may be. Now, where a lot of people don't know is that th this sort of software is free. LTM have given you the software, the only catch is you have to register to basically make use of the software. Now, something of interest, if you head over to the start, and let's say you want to build something, you can browse through the already created stuff, uh, for example, Lab Power Supply by Matt Godfrey. You can open this up, and it'll download from the cloud for you, and you can then take a look at um, the specific design. Like I say, the software is free and uh, it's readily available. You just head over to the Circuit Maker website or LTM website. And there you have the different sub circuits for the main circuit to basically make it work. And I think we have the PC board as well. Here we go. All ready for use. So you could technically make this thing and uh, Happy days.